You guys never understand how gift giving works when it comes to girls. Most of the time, you guys are extremely typical when you're trying to buy gifts. You always buy typical gifts for the typical events, such as birthdays, Valentine's days, or other types of holidays. You pretty much do the same thing that every other guy does. You go to the store, you pick the right color of flower, or maybe chocolates in a heart-shaped box. Guys, these are the most typical gifts ever that all girls have come to accept that they must receive on each day. Nothing about it is interesting. It's a boring convention that girls play into because they don't know any better. The problem is you guys also don't know the best time to get a girl a gift. That's why in this video, I'm gonna give you guys the answers to all of these questions. Make sure to stick around for the entire video because all these points are extremely important. Before I start telling you about which gifts to buy, I'm gonna start out with the first step which is when never to buy gifts. One of the most crucial times to not get a gift is after an argument. In modern society there's this idea that an argument is always the guy's fault. Most of you guys are going to play into this convention. Even if you know in your heart that you didn't do anything wrong, you're gonna get up off the couch, you're gonna go to the store, and you're gonna buy some arbitrary gift and bring it home as a sign of submission. In many cases she may be momentary happy that you somehow tried to solve the problem. But in reality, she doesn't want this at the core. You were trained to believe that conflict resolution at all moments is what you're supposed to do. You're using the gift as an indication of this concept. Guys, you have to remember, you don't want to enable bad behavior. If a girl started an argument and it's not your fault, don't just go buy her a gift to calm the waters. Too many of you guys care way too much about conflict and avoiding conflict. Understand guys, conflict is a necessary part of life. Girls also want to make sure that you can deal with conflict accordingly. Buying a gift in this scenario is absolutely the wrong thing to do. Another situation where you should avoid buying gifts is all the typical holidays of the year. Guys, if you're going to count all the different occasions that you're entitled to buying a gift, you're going to realize how ridiculous it sounds. Anniversary, Woman's Day, Birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, Girlfriend Day, Easter. How many days per year do you get where you're entitled to a gift? Outside of your birthday, it's pretty much zero. I can understand if you want to buy a gift for an anniversary. The problem is I've heard stories as absurd as one month anniversary or even one week anniversary. These are absolutely ridiculous concepts. Buying gifts for such stupid occasions only solidifies how weak of a man you really are. Even for something as stupid as Valentine's Day. When you always cave to expectation, it sets the standard that you're always going to do what you're supposed to do. This by default is anti-masculine. Men are supposed to do what makes sense, what's logical, and what they want to do. Not what they're supposed to to do. For this reason, you want to avoid buying gifts for every single holiday. To give you my personal recommendation, the only holidays you should give gifts for are birthday, if she's religious, Christmas, anniversary if it's one year and over. Every other day should be elective and your girl shouldn't expect otherwise. If you do end up buying gifts in any of these contexts, she should see it as purely a bonus, not an entitlement. The last point I'm going to make when it comes to not buying gifts is to never buy a girl gift to gain compliance. What I mean by this is extremely simple. Do not buy a gift for a girl to get something in return. When you do this, all you're essentially doing is trying to trade some sort of monetary value for compliance in exchange. Basically, you're not giving the gift with good intentions. You're giving it with the intention that you're going to get something in return. Guys, I shouldn't have to be the one to tell you that this is simply unacceptable. When you buy a gift, you buy it and you never expect anything in return. Otherwise, do not buy it. You shouldn't be out here trying to buy girls things and expect that you'll get something in return. That is never the way it's worked and it never will work this way. Now that you know when to not buy gifts, let's get into the second point. When you do decide to buy her a gift, you have to be unpredictable. I know this advice is completely counter to everything that everyone's told you, but most of you don't understand that the game is forever changing. Even in the past, the girls always love spontaneity over planned events. What this means is a random gift on a random day because you truly care about her is gonna go a lot further than just buying an expected gift on an expected day. Let me give you a small example. Let's say you've been dating for four to six months. By this point, you've probably already established some sort of patterns with her or some form of routine. Let's say she's working in the evening and you know her place of work. You're already in the area because you're picking something up. Since you're already there, you pick up a little chocolate bar that you know she likes, you go to her work, which is two seconds away, you drop it off there and say it's for her and you walk away. These are perfect examples of little gifts that go a long way. You could have just as easily went about your business and not have made that gesture. But instead, you decided to go an extra five minutes out of your way to do something small that means a lot to her. These types of gifts are infinitely better to the planned ones I was talking about earlier. Another good example of an unpredictable gift could be a two-day trip somewhere nearby. Two days off is the perfect amount of time for most people because it's easy to get that time off or you could just go on the weekend. Most people live near at least some sort of desirable location to visit. Whether it's an hour or two hour drive away, this serves as a perfect getaway opportunity for a couple days. Make sure you plan out all the logistics and then you tell her a month before it's supposed to happen. She'll be super happy about this and I have something to look forward to. Because you pre-planned it ahead of time, it could also be a good opportunity to make it not super expensive. This stuff is really easy, guys. Don't overcomplicate it. Just be a little bit unpredictable and try to put some plan planning into what you're doing. And now for the third and final point, it's to not get typical gifts. I'm sure you guys have heard of all the typical gift ideas before. Jewelry, 
card, chocolates, flowers. None of these gifts have the same potency as a gift that she actually needs. One example of a non-typical gift is something that you can make. Now, I know a lot of you probably don't have the practical skills to pull this off, but some examples could be metal projects, wood projects like jewelry boxes or bookshelves, or maybe some organizational baskets. Some examples of gifts that you can buy that are still unique would be something like spa retreats, boat tours, kayaking if it's a summer day, a day trip if you live in the States. I mean, Spirit Airlines is super cheap. Flights are like a hundred bucks. I'm sure you can afford it for a day trip. Some handmade artisan cheesecake from the best baker in town. All these things are way more exciting and way cooler and show that you put some minimal amount of thought into getting a gift. If I can think of all these ideas on the spot without pre-planning it, I'm sure you guys can do a little bit better at buying better quality gifts. Just put some critical thought into it, make sure it's the right time and you'll be just fine. That sums up this video. If you like what you saw, like and subscribe. As usual, I'll have an extended version of my Patreon for those of you that want to learn faster than everybody else. Don't forget to comment below for some video ideas that you'd like to see from me. I'll see you guys next time.